हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अपूर्वा गुप्ता असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बियानी इंटरनेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वेलकम्स यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ग्रुप के पी ओ माई टूडेज लेक्चर इज ऑन हाउ पे फ्रेक्टिफायर फॉर आर एल लोथ नाउ वी हैव दिस सर्किट डायग्राम फॉर हाउ पे फ्रेक्टिफायर फॉर आर एल लोथ एज वी ऑल नो रेक्टिफायर अदर डिवाइसेज विच कन्वर्ट ए सी वेब फॉर्म या ए सी इनपुट सप्लाई इन टू आउटपुट डी सी सप्लाई एंड दिस विल बी डू दिस विल बी डू यूजिंग आर एल लोड नाउ वी हैव ए सी पावर सप्लाई एज वी एस फ्रॉम द इनपुट साइड दिस थैरेस्टर इज कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज विद दिस पावर सप्लाई एंड दिस आर रजिस्टेंस एंड एल इंडक्टेंस लोड नाउ For the first half or the positive half of the VS supply, let's see what happens. When the positive half of the supply is provided to the thyristor, it goes into forward conduct forward blocking mode until and unless the gate triggering is provided to the thyristor. When this gate triggering is provided to the thyristor, it goes into forward conduction mode. As soon as we give this gate triggering, the thyristor goes into forward conduction mode, and it provides a short circuiting through this point. Now, the current I S start flowing to through this load R and L, and becomes I not current. This current, when flows through R and L, it starts charging the inductance. we have the inductance waveform il over here the current charges this inductance to the maximum point during this positive half of the supply now as soon as the positive half goes to become negative half the thyristor is forced to turn into reverse blocking mode when this thyristor tries to go into reverse blocking mode this inductance which has the property to oppose the change in current tries to keep it into forward conduction mode only so that the current doesn't change and it keeps flowing through the circuit in this way only previously when the inductance was a load it has the polarity like this positive current is entering to the positive terminal and leaving the negative terminal but when this negative half of the supply is coming then the inductance changes its polarity like this now inductance will behave as a source and it will keep this thyristor into forward conduction mode only and the current will continues to flow like this this can be shown in from the waveform from uh, here the v not was in the positive half in the positive portion of the voltage but as soon as the, the load inductance changes its polarity v not also changes its polarity because v not is none other than the inductance polarity only as soon as the inductance changes its polarity v not also changes its polarity this is shown by this small region of the waveform we can see that v not has changed its polarity to the negative region now inductance is in the negative region discharging this is shown by this portion of the current current has is going downward this shows that the inductance is discharging as soon as the inductance discharges to its zero value the voltage drop which was which was uh, which we can which was falling through the vth is also become zero now the last waveform is for vth in the first half of the of uh, the supply this thyristor was behaving as an open circuit all the voltage drop of the vs supply was suffered through this thyristor only so we can see that the thyristor voltage drop follows the portion of this supply waveform but as soon as it starts conducting it behaves like a short circuit and in short circuit the voltage drop is zero hence we feel uh, sees that this is a zero voltage drop in this portion of the waveform in the negative half when the thyristor goes to the reverse blocking mode we sees that it again start following the reverse characteristics of the supply voltage this is shown by this region and so on the cycles keep on repeating till the supply is turned off thank you
thank you thank you and thank you for more information and more detailed lecture contact on www.grukpu.com